So, anybody that knows anything about bullets knows that stuff like paper is not very bulletproof. Until you get somebody like me that wonders what can stop a bullet. Well, today, I got curious at work the other day and got to thinking, will a brake rotor stop a bullet? And what will it stop? And as you may notice, it's a little rusty. It's been raining for a couple of weeks now. Well, maybe not weeks, but it's been raining for a few days. I know that much. I mean, a lot of rain. Got two just in case we don't stop any bullets. But, I was wondering, what will it take if I've got enough firepower to go through said brake rotor? Well, today, I want to give it a shot. Or multiple shots. I want to give it an attempt. Shall we? So, I do believe I've got a pretty solid lineup of a couple guns that I hope will go through it. There's our rotor way down there. Hopefully I can get y'all on it. I hope you're able to see that all right. Whoops. I'm gonna try to edit that. Well, I'm gonna try my best to edit this out. Please bear with me. Try to get y'all set up on that pretty good. Best I can at least. With what I've got. Well at least y'all can see what I'm shooting at. So what you say we start off with something small, not quite, and I just ripped my shirt, whoops. As soon as I can get it dug out of my pocket here, ten hours later. What you say we start off small with a 22 long rifle. Get y'all zoomed back in down yonder. And I'm a load up. Give me just one second here. Going loud. Three, two, one. And actually, while I'm at it, while I'm still on twenty two caliber, I wanted to give twenty two Magnum a try just because. Got a four grain heavier project oh, projectile going about 600 feet per second faster. 
Hopefully I can make this shot with open sights. Hopefully I can at least hit it. I'm gonna say I did. Let's go down there and see what we did, shall we? Getting some fitness in on this. All right. I could tell through my scope on the 22 long rifle. I hit it right there. Just scratched the surface. And it appears the 22 Magnum hit right there. Again, just scratched the surface. Barely a dent on either of those. That's all right. I got something a little bit bigger. Both of those were hollow points, by the way. <laughs> 22 long rifle coming out of Marlin Model 60 semi-auto. I apologize for the wind. <laughs> then the Magnum coming out of a 22 Magnum, of course, live reaction Henry. Next up, why don't we try 224 Valkyrie? Get y'all zoomed back in. Whoops. I'm trying my best, guys, I promise. Just having to work with what I've got. All right, hopefully that's good enough for y'all. Let me get my eyes and ears back on. <coughs> Actually, yeah. Let's give the 224 a whirl. Couldn't tell if I hit it that shot or not. Let's give it one more try. <laughs> I know I hit it that time. Let's go check it out. I'd have liked to have. Oh, forgot to take my zoom back out. Didn't hit it as good as I would have liked to have, but whoa. Looks like we did some damage. I was not expecting that. And this is cast iron. My God. Look at that crack too. On each side. 
dude. I was not expecting that. <coughs> that gun, I actually think... Well, that gun I've got sighted in for a little bit longer range than this, so that explains why it hit a little bit high. But, my god. I didn't figure that little bullet would be hitting that hard. Wow. That, that's impressive. Wow. Well, next up, I reckon it's going to be this 300 blackout. I, want, I almost did it first, but let's give it a try. Hundred and twenty five grain hollow point, if I remember right. Let's see what this will do. Let's give it another shot just for good measure. Blew the camera over. Let's go check it out. Really don't expect much out of that. 125 grain 30 caliber bullet out of a 223 casing. But heck, done a heck of a lot better than I expected it to. There's a 224 Valkyrie blasted through the top. Looks like it would have hit the top of the back side here and went hurtling off into the tree line, busting a chunk out with it. But look at this 300 blackout, man. And yes, guys, I finally got my brace off. That chunk. Looks like it could bust. Ah, uh, it's still attached there. My, my, my. Looks like there may still be some, yeah, some lug fragment, uh, fragments back in there. Got some lead down here. Or maybe some cast iron, something. Huh. Wouldn't be lucky enough to find some of my bullets down here after a while but got a couple more rounds I want to try I may be doing a part two of this because that 300 blackout and 224 particularly that 224 is doing that kind of a job I want to see what else they, well, what else they can do I can't believe that. <laughs> my redneck safety goggles. Because I can't find my safety glasses. I know I've got them somewhere. <laughs> Alright. How about this time we try a Pioneer cartridge? 30 30, 150 grain, soft point. I don't know how well you guys can see this. There it is. 
should be able to hit that thing on the first shot with this gun. After all the shooting that I've done with it, I haven't practiced much with those last two. I haven't been able to afford a whole lot of ammo here right lately. But I'm slowly restocking. down to basically just like a box or two of everything. A box isn't a whole lot when you're only talking 20 rounds. With a guy like me that likes to experiment. Try to find his lost target. Because he's too broke to afford much equipment. And he's relying on just a chunk of wood to level his camera. Alright, y'all should be able to see that. Let me load up and see if I can hit it. With my Marlin 336 lever gun. Which is an amazing piece of art. It's an amazing tool. I love it. Enough bragging. Let's get back to shooting. Although this thing is one kicker. Kicks nice and hard. Like I'm sure y'all just got to see. Oof. Call me a wimp. But my bony oh my bony shoulder did not like that too much. Oof. I love that gun, but whew. She'll bruise you eventually. See what we got. Well, 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 well. Hello. Ha! <laughs> she went through that side. Focus. She went through there, but didn't come through. Left to Bit of a bulge and a nice crack. No innuendos implied. Looks like I'm gonna have to retire this one by the end of the day, possibly. She may still be able to live another day, though, with this other side. Unless I can do her in with a 12 gauge. Got a couple of shells here for that bad beast. What you say we set this thing back up? Step just a couple of steps closer. Hope you all like my redneck rotor holder. I hope I can hit that thing with... No, I hope I can hit this rotor with that 12 gauge. Guess we'll find out. But, first... Oh, what I've got here... And pardon my sniffles. This stupid allergy season is getting me. But I'm probably going to do it like I've got them in my hands here. First, a 325 grain interlock slug then a 380 grain sabo and then that red one a one ounce slug I'm gonna have to step a little closer to that because uh the sights that 
I've got on this rig they don't like me too well when I'm shooting over a distance um, I haven't shot over that kind of distance with this thing just yet so what I'm gonna do is probably gonna set y'all right on up over there close to that rotor our target make it even more redneck because that's what us rednecks like to do set that unloaded gun down get my uh trusty old tire ramps oh vehicle ramps shouldn't necessarily lie about what they are technically called let's see right here seems like a good enough distance try to get y'all at the right angle here Should be good. All right, here we go. kind of flinched on that shot and I missed that's why I've got two more shots to go <coughs> ended up scuffing the dirt right here oh well still got two more tries Grainer up next. The Sabo. I hit something. Oh my lord. Wow. Wicked. Check this out, you guys. I didn't think I hit it, but I guess I did. Got a piece of lead there. Cracked it a good ways around here. To there is about where it stops. And busted that all out. That is awesome. That's for mo 15, 20 yards. And look at how thick she is. That's wicked. Now I've got to give that other one ounce a shot. Don't know how I'm going to do this rightly. Because, uh, it ended up breaking my stand on my prop. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Oh, 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 don't you roll. I need you to stay. Sorry for my poor filming skills. I'm just a one-man team. Man, I really wish them, I want to know what happened to them pieces. I'll have to leave a comment down in the video after I post it. Because I guess I'm going to have to rewatch the video 
And dude, that looks like one of my 12 gauge slugs. I just found that laying down here. The sun reflecting off of it caught my eye. Was it that one that hit the dirt? Oh, there's another chunk of lead. They're both cold though. And you can tell that they both hit the dirt. I want to say this real warp piece was that last shot because it would have came down, hit the dirt here, traveled through, and it was just lying right here. <laughs> hit a rock right there too. I guess I'm just going to have to review the footage and I'll leave a comment down in the video. Oh, there it is. There's at least a chunk. That's not all of it. <laughs> not even sure how that went in there, but hey, there's a, oh, there's a piece. I'm sticking them pieces of lead in my pocket. Now, let me set you all back down and we'll smack it with the uh, worn out slug. See what kind of damage she'll do. And by the way, it is a one ounce rifled slug. Those other two are non-rifled. The rifled slugs are supposed to be better than smooth bar barrels. We'll see. Going loud. Dude! Yes! I was paying a little closer attention on that shot. Check that out. Bro. Looks like either some energy got transferred into that wood. Well, something transferred energy into it. Enough to break a couple of pieces off. Here's one chunk out of that rotor. Where did I see that other piece go? There was a bigger piece lying over here. I just swore. Oh, there's another piece. That is so cool. I didn't really think... Well, I expected it to stop them a little better than that. But you take such a heavy load like that, traveling at that kind of speed, I believe those slugs are traveling in the 12 to 1400 foot per second range. Plus, at only about 15 to 20 yards, they don't lose too much energy. Is that another piece over there? Nope, just a leaf. <laughs> that is just so cool. I'm definitely going to have to do a part two to, oh, after this one. I ain't got much time today. I've got some other stuff I got to get done here at the Ponderosa. But, for now, guys, I'll see you next time. This is Redneck, and I am out.